Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Vince here for 7D Tarot. Today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead, like this video, and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. we will use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guide tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Wow, so something very big is about to take place for you. You got the fool and the world letting you know that there is some sort of journey you're about to go on. So some sort of dream vacation, some sort of business trip, or maybe even you're going to be moving into a new house. But you're going to be ch changing settings, right? And when you change your settings, now you're going to get new downloads, new inspired action, and you're just going to get like a, like a breath of fresh air. Remember, your faith is your fortune, right? And whenever we get out of our environment, that's when we recoup on our faith. And I'll give an example. Sometimes, you know, we feel stuck. Sometimes we're doing the same thing, getting the same results, and we're asking ourselves, why are we not getting change? You know, we're looking to change our bank account, change our romantic energy. Why is it not happening? It's because we're doing the same thing as yesterday. And that's why when you get out of your environment, that breath of fresh air, it creates new change. You wake up at a new time. You do something new. You're out of, your, out of the walls, truthfully, right? And source is telling you that your faith is your fortune. Have faith. Know that your angels and guides love you, that they're bringing you this opportunity that there's a lesson here, a fun, exciting one. And to really go with the flow on this energy, do not resist and kind of just embrace the ride as you go. Now you got the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So there is a third party that is going to ask to make amends. They hurt you. They did something wrong. And right now they want to apologize. Right now your angels and guides are telling you in order for you to accept their apology, you got to understand forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. And that by forgiving them, you are just not quantum entangled with them anymore. You're cutting the energetic cord. When you are attached to someone, you know, imagine if someone, imagine someone stole from you, right? Now they want to come back and apologize. If you forgive them, you're basically saying, okay, uh, I didn't forget what happened. You don't forget. You're like, I no longer want to, you know, do business or be friends, but I forgive you. You're clearly in a bad place in your life. You're trying to figure out your life. It's all good. I don't want to be a part of it, but I forgive you, you know, carry on, do your thing, right? Just do your own thing. And that's what forgiveness is. It's just cutting that energetic cord you have with this person because you did nothing wrong and you shouldn't be wearing their energy like a weighted vest. That is not what spirit wants. Now, very interesting because you do have justice and you have the strength card and sources telling you to summon up that inner line within you and take the leap of faith because right now this is the time to start something. Maybe start going in yoga, spin class, start a new job, maybe start asking that person on a date. But right now your angels and guides are telling you that like what you think of with emotion will become an actual fact. Quantum physics has proven that. Law of attraction is real. And right now when you start something and you have brain and heart coherence, like the electrical energy of the brain with the magnetic energy of the heart, Heart synergistically when you think it and feel it it will turn out the outcome will be exactly as what you desire right so, so for example you start a business you tell yourself this business is going to take off i am going to crush it i am so excited right boom you're good to go but if you tell yourself i am so scared what if this happens what if that happens it will happen, guys. Law of attraction is 100% real. Quantum entanglement has proven this. So right now, source is telling you to focus on, you know, picking up the handle of love that empowers you. All right. Now, very, very interesting because you got the Queen of Wands and the Empress card. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you that your ambition, your charismatic energy is being matched by your intuition, right? And right now, source is telling you to get grounded and assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled in order for you to get what you're looking for. Like, for example, when you want something and you are grounded, your want becomes almost an expectation, almost like a, 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 you're commanding the energy. And that's what you're looking for. You don't want to want anything. Wanting stuff is not fun. That is a la energy of lack and lack does not carry the thought of abundance. You have to expect it, right? Like for example, like when you order pizza, you're not like, well, at first you're like, oh, I would like some pizza. And then you expect it to show. You're not like, is it coming? Is it not coming? Oh my God. Oh Lord, is it coming? I don't know. I really need this pizza. You're not doing that. You, you, you know that there's a contract being signed between you and that person saying that they will deliver this pizza you have you know a lot of faith in that and that's the thing if you have faith in the pizza guy like you have you, you know having faith in spirit should be effortless for you now very interesting because you got the six of wands and the five of pentacles here as well 
And that right there is really letting you know that victory is around the corner for you, that you are on the path to really just bringing in some sort of successful energy uh, right now that your angels and guys are telling you to show resilience. Uh, there seems to be some sort of money block here, but when you show resilience and get through this money block, a new opportunity is going to be presented to you. Now, this money block could be anything. It could be a trauma from your childhood. Like, for example, like when I, you know, uh, when I was a, a young little lad, um, you know, my family did not have much money. So I was, you know, petrified. I thought that I was going to wake up and grow up and be broke, not knowing that I could just be a businessman and make my own money, right? But, you know, as a child, I didn't know better. I had limiting beliefs. And Force is telling you, like, if you have limiting beliefs, understand that they are exactly as they, they sound. Beliefs that limit you that are false. You might have limiting beliefs of, I am big boned, I will never be fit. My sister thought that her whole life. Now she has six pack abs, right? So Source is telling you, trust me, it's calories in, calories out. It's just, Beliefs that limit you are false. Trust me on that. I, I can definitely attest to that. All right. Now, very interesting. You have death and rebirth, and you also have um, uh, balance. Your angels are telling you that this is a time to really, like a phoenix rising out the ashes, uh, 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 like, uh, like a new version of yourself is going to ascend. And right now, what this version is going to bring balance in your life. This means that, you know, your, your home life, your work life, your love life, everything is going to be balanced. And you're going to be doing things very, very new and fresh, right? So, for example, it's like a fresh start. Maybe this means that you're going to find a new job. Maybe this means that you're going to, you know, <clears throat> start believing in yourself and, and take that leap of faith when it comes to doing something or starting something, maybe going back to school. But balance, balance is what Source wants you to focus on right now. And, you know, one, that's one thing in North America that we tend to <clears throat> need to a little help on because in other parts of the world, <clears throat> excuse me, Everyone else is usually working to live. They work just enough to be able to live comfortably. Out here, we live to work. We live to buy bigger houses, bigger cars. And don't get me wrong, I'm in a big house and I got a big car, right? But at the end of the day, you know, I've been on both sides of the fence. And if you want a big house and a big car, you know, like it's not the end all be all. You know, once you get it, you're kind of like, ah, whatever. And uh, but what you really need is currency of time, time to enjoy the big house and the big car, right? And that's what Source wants you to have is balance. Now, very interesting, yeah, the animal spirit and strength card. And this right here is letting you know that you have this powerful intuition within you that is yearning to come out. Your angels are telling you to use your imagination, use your creativity and become aware of what you're thinking and feeling. Because your thinking and feeling is your intuitive energy. It's your instincts. It's how your angels speak to you. And right now, they're trying to communicate with you and give you guidance to tell you what to do, what not to do. But they're having a hard time doing so because the logical mind is taking over. The logical mind is saying this, this, this. Instead, the intuitive heart is saying that, that, that. And you really want to listen always to the intuitive heart because the intuitive heart is the reason that you were given that emotional guiding system, which is your GPS, which is really your instincts, because it will never steer you wrong. So anytime you are second guessing yourself don't think what to do next close your eyes breathe deep feel what your next move is and it will be the right answer all right speaking of answer let's get some money and some love into your life this is your affirmation for today and right now source is telling you your affirmation is the universe has a plan greater than mine this is the universe confirming that there's something very magical about to take place for you something that you've always wanted is about to happen and through divine source divine timing and divine intervention there's uh it's about to take place very soon here so the universe has a plan greater than mine uh let your angels and guides know you're ready for this plan give this video a like and become the cause and effect and set things in motion for yourself all right now final message from your spirit guides Change is always good. Yes, it is. Look at that. You know change is coming. Actually, the only effective way of changing another person is by changing yourself works every time guaranteed. Right now, Source is telling you if you want to change someone, lead by example. If you have a spouse, they're not eating healthy. All you have to do is eat healthy first. Have them be like, whoa, look at the changes that have happened in your life. I can visually see it. I, I want to be a part of that. Can you please help me? And that's when you got them. Not just someone wants to quit smoking. You can tell them smoking's bad all day. They're not going to listen. But if you wait and they come to you asking for help because maybe you've quit smoking before or something, um, that's when things are really productive. So right now, Source is telling you, lead by example. Your entire purpose on planet Earth is to present the best version of yourself. That is your offering to the universe. That means have the most fun, be the most excited. Really be selfish. Like if you want to save someone who's drowning, you better be a good swimmer. Learn how to swim. That means learn how to have fun. And then you'll be able to guide everyone else around you. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.